Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the HAO Dhruv helicopter from the Indian military. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Both military and civilian. The HAL Dhruv helicopter is a platform that could serve both as military and civilian usage. The helicopter was originally built for the military, but because of its versatility, many other uses are also available. In terms of civilian use, there is flood relief and rescue, slithering, cargo movement, and also patrolling coastal security. And of course, in the military sense, the helicopter can be armed and used for troop transport, casualty evaluation, and other attack functions. Because of its versatility and endurance, it is a great civilian helicopter for police and other types of government usage where they need to transport things or loiter above for security. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. Multiple variants. As I mentioned in the previous section, the Dhruv helicopter can be both civilian and military. In the military one, it has to evolve to another type of helicopter which we won't go over today, called the Rudra. But in terms of other variants, the helicopter has gone through several iterations since its first introduction in 1992. The MK-1 was the first iteration with the configuration of a conventional cockpit with mechanical gauges and a French turbo-mecha turboshaft engine. The next iteration, MK-2, is similar to MK-1 except now it's all glass digital cockpits. This began manufacturing in 2007. Later on, another variant uses a completely homegrown Indian engine that has more power and more endurance and as a result, continuously evolved the Dhruv into other types of configurations where incorporating the latest technologies and features of the aviation industry. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Company continues to evolve the Dhruv helicopter to adapt to the needs of its operators. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. 12 plus 2 passengers. In order to provide high versatility usage for its operator. The Dhruv helicopter can also carry up to 12 passengers, and the plus two is really the pilot and the co-pilot. So the crew is two people and can carry 12 passengers in its cabin. I think it's incredibly powerful because most helicopters, especially military ones, unless it's designated for transport, is quite compacted and tiny. Especially attack helicopters, they generally just be crewed by the pilot and co-pilot and that's it. But the Dhruv helicopter can not only be an attack helicopter, it can also carry 12 soldiers. And so I think it's incredibly powerful that it can serve both as an attack helicopter and transport helicopter all in the same configuration and platform. This makes it much easier to manufacture and develop because you don't need to interchange many different parts, you don't need to do heavy research and development and have something that has a single use. With multiple versatility usage of the Dhruv helicopter, able to carry 12 passengers, it is great for medical evacuations or other types of passenger transportation. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact for high altitude operation. A very strict and major requirement when developing the Dhruv helicopter was the fact that it needs to operate in the Himalayas in the Kashmir regions of the Indian subcontinent. And as a result, the helicopter needed an engine that could operate at really high altitudes. You can imagine the Himalayan mountain ranges are one of the highest in the world and it takes a special type of aircraft to be able to fly as high with air as thin as the Himalayan mountains. And so the Dhruv helicopter was especially designed so that it could operate in both the Alpine, Himalayan mountain ranges as well as the common desert or sea-based usage that the rest of the country has. And so as a result, they have developed a very versatile aircraft where it could fly from 
the coast of the Indian subcontinent, where it's at sea level, all the way to the Kashmir region, high up in altitude. And through all that, it could retain the same performance characteristics and operational features in both low altitude and high altitude regions. All right, let's get into the next and final fact, armed with rockets. As I mentioned in the previous sections, the Druv helicopter has a lot of utility use. However, it is also a very heavily armed helicopter. According to the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited website, this helicopter is equipped with 20mm turret gun, 70mm rockets, air-to-air -air missiles, and anti-tank guided missiles. It is not fooling around in terms of the offensive capabilities of this aircraft. So in addition to carrying troops and ferrying cargo, it could be fully armed to the teeth and take out enemy targets with a lot of force. I think it's really great that in the development of this helicopter, they didn't try to pigeonhole it into a very single focused task. Other countries try to do that. They have single purpose aircraft designed for one purpose, whereas the Druv helicopter is extremely versatile for example, the US Army's Black Hawk helicopter is a transport helicopter and really only has one gun on the side. It doesn't fire missiles or rockets. And so the fact that the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Company is able to adapt the Drew to not just carry people, passenger, and cargo, but also fire rockets and guns is extremely powerful. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.